Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. So guys, please do not mind my voice. I have uh, a horrible flu. I have a bad cold. So please bear with me. <laughs> as I make this video, I'll probably sound funny. As you can see, my video is about Prophetess Daise. And please let me know what your thoughts are on this subject. Please feel free to comment in the comment section. So... Um, basically what's happening is she is in a lot of trouble. She's literally being roasted. She is on fire, guys. Um, literally. Um, she's in trouble for sharing a lot to her social media. I guess she doesn't really give serious prophetess vibes because, um, she shares, like, goofy TikToks. So it says over here, police dismisses pictures Depicting self-styled prophetess Naisa being escorted. Yo, talk about spicy. Spicy caption. Yo, guys, so the police were against her, allegedly, and most of the vlogs on Facebook. So, police says it cannot condone such actions by officers to treat people who do not qualify to be treated as VIP are accorded such a status this follows social media reports depicting self-proclaimed prophetess Naisi being escorted by police officers. Yo, guys. Yo, officers. Yo. Police spokesperson Ray Hamunga has clarified in a statement that the police, that the picture trending, sorry, on social media insinuating that police officers were escorting prophetess Naisi is an old one and that was captured in 2021 before the general elections, allegedly, and I don't know why that matters, allegedly. We would like to urge the public to ignore such falsehood aimed at tarnishing the good image of the Zambia police services with the contempt it deserves. Okay, this sh this post really shocked me because I really love um, Ma'am Lillian. I love her so much. She said, fake Zambian prophetess is not even convinced by her own message. Baby charlatan, it's all about the eyelashes, heavy makeup, false nails and hair. How do you even concentrate? Seriously. So I was really surprised because usually prophetess just like minds her own business and doesn't say anything. So I don't know why my mom <laughs> Lillian decided to attack her. Like I just I just don't know. I don't know. But I still love her though. But I don't know what she. I think what she did was really wrong because um, prophetess wasn't really attacking her, to my knowledge, or doing anything that directly hurts her or affects her. So this Zambian blog page says that when a prophetess who wear makeup quite a in the police camp, that basically means they have never seen a prophetess who put so much makeup like a. Uh, a veranda for a Zambian police camp those ones are usually red and you have to like put red cobra on them so I think he's taking a jab at her red lipstick it's been a wild week or should I say a wild two weeks past two weeks for prophetess nice it's been so bad and at this time she's actually just offline yo guys everyone chose violence go to resist violence on Facebook okay so um this is from prophetess nice's lawyers um allegedly um they said, we act for Naisen Kata, alias Prophetess Naise, therefore referred to as our client. Hence, note um, our professional interest in this matter. If you are represented by legal counsel, please direct this letter to your attorney immediately and have your attorney notify us of such representation. We are reliably informed by our client that on or about on the 5th of June 2022, you uploaded posts on your social media platform, Facebook, where it was alleged that our client is a false prophetess and a side chick, amongst other things. The said posts by yourself are visible on your Facebook page, and further, your posts were seen by a majority number of people and shared by numerous Facebook users. client advises that the allegations in the aforementioned posts are false and unfounded and defamatory personal references and attacks on her 
Further, we advise that your publication of these aforementioned posts amount to very serious libel and malicious falsehoods that could and could only have been ill-conceived. Your continued publication and circulation of the said post has gravely damaged our client's reputation and has led to her being shunned by right-thinking members of society. Therefore, our firm instructions are to demand, as we do now, that you cease and desist from publishing falsities against our client and that you render a retraction and apology in a manner and form to be approved by our client further in the activity from yourself persists. We have strict instructions to commence both civil and... I had to pause there earlier. I got really tired of reading. <laughs> Further, if activity from yourself persists, we have strict instructions to commence both civil and criminal court proceedings against you. We expect to receive a satisfactory reply from you within seven days from the date of this letter. Otherwise, we shall proceed as advised above. Kindly acknowledge safe receipts of this letter by signing our return copy. Yours faithfully, Makebi Zulu Advocates. Mm. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think it's okay that prophetess um, should open a case for defamation when people say bad things against her? Or do you think she should just um, let things slide? I want to know what you guys think about that. You know, it was really crazy. Everyone was like um, talking about prophetess Nace's past. And some people even came from her past claiming to know her, saying some bad things that she did. But I just feel like um, God uses anyone and... We are not perfect. You could have been doing bad things and then you now change and become a good person. So I just feel like that was like so uncalled for. I don't know, guys. People change. People grow. That's what I think. Prophetess said, um, I'm so overwhelmed by all the men and women of God sending me messages. It's so encouraging. Even those I have never met in person, I have seen my reposts of a lot of people standing by me i truly appreciate it so this was like her last post mm, the last time prophetess naiso was on facebook was on the 5th of june um there have been no live videos i actually felt bad i guess maybe she's just trying to lay low right now so maybe i don't know i don't know why but i i think that's why but i feel like um we do midnight prayers for free. We literally pray together. Every single day she does live videos and most um, preachers and whatever, they never really make time for their congregation. She makes time once a day, twice a day. There's all these prayers and she never forces anybody to sow seed. She has businesses. She takes good care of herself. And above all, she actually helps people. I think Prophet is... I, can't really judge her harshly because the things she does to help people i haven't even done those things so a lot of us will easily judge her when we're actually not even making a single difference in this world that's what i think but let me know what you guys think guys maybe i'm just favoring prophetess nice if she's a bad person say so but i, I just don't see it guys um, we it's not like we have so much to offer her anyway. I don't know. I don't see her, guys. I, I don't see her as a malicious person. Bye.